Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2 now specifically. Let's just get this out of the way. Happy holidays, guys. I hope you and yours have a great Christmas slash whatever you celebrate. And just know that the beginning of this video was me being very positive to you. Because the rest is gonna be negative as fuck. So let's talk about it. You guys already saw the the title of the video. For the free to play in Destiny 2 is god awful. Oh my god. So you might be thinking, where is this coming from? Well, uh, a while ago, one of my homies, a uh, good friend of mine, basically asked me, where is the new light guide? And I, I like that idea. I was like, you know, it would be a good idea to do a new light guide video so that way not only not only would i be helping people like new light people come to the game but it's good for views obviously so immediately i was like all right i'm gonna jump onto this uh one day and i started yesterday i started recording all of the stuff and i was really excited for it and then i started playing it <laughs> and i i hated it oh my god all right so let's let's get a few things out first and foremost i am a veteran player i've been playing since you guys already know destiny one beta so i have consistently just been keeping up with destiny at the point where right now i currently have nothing to do i've done the raid multiple times on each character i pretty much have almost all the armor <clears throat> i have a build for each character like i'm not even kidding like my hunter has two or three builds my titan has two or three builds and my warlock has one or two so i'm pretty much good i i don't want for anything the only thing i do now is literally bounties and bounties so i can get more brightness so tell me why the second portion of of uh, the new light system is introducing players to bounties for me, I was like, yo, you should introduce this way later, man. Like, let the let the new players have fun first. Let the new players in like be at awe of the game. Not like, okay, so once you do that cool mission in the beginning, we're gonna give you some bounties. This is how you really you play the game. So for me, I I didn't like that at all. Uh, you know, introduce the players to something more fun. Like just give them that moment of awe and just lengthen that for a while. Me personally, like I said, I just don't think introducing bounties and like the monotonous shit that you're going to do forever until you unlock planets, because that's also an interesting topic that I'm going to get into. I don't think that's the best way to introduce people to your universe. So the first mission, pretty solid in my opinion. It's uh, it's what you think it would will be. But then... The next portion is Shahan telling you, pick up a bounty and complete a lost sector. And for me, I was like, I already do this on the daily, but to a new player, to a new player, maybe they're like, oh, what is this? So I'll give you that. After that, it was just monotonous shit here and there. Basically the, uh, the game telling you or teaching you how to play the game, which is fine but they teach you the mechanics that we always do in everything so for me i was like oh no like i'm i'm all about teaching new players the mechanics and whatnot but it has to be in a fun way this was not fun it was literally go to a to do to do an objective go back to b to do an objective to go then back to a to do an objective then go back to c to do something else and for me, that wasn't fun at all. I don't care who you are. That doesn't sound fun to me. So immediately I was already, I'm, uh, I'm done. I'm checking out. And then we had to do the strike for the new, the new strike from the Cosmodrome. Oh man, where do I even begin? I hated it. I hated it. It was... It was bad. Yeah, it took us a while to beat the boss. We didn't have anything good on us. Obviously, we're new light players. But it took us a ridiculous amount of time, in my opinion. And what's funny is I actually enjoyed that aspect of it a little. Because in the strikes, we usually kill every boss so fast. 
and we're not in an encounter that that long anyways and it felt kind of weird in a good way to stay in an encounter more than like a minute and like we were actually like were keeping cover like it was cool i'm not gonna lie it reminded me of like destiny one like the heroic uh vanguard the playlist but then we got to the boss and it was just kind of like granted i like everything i just said like it felt good like taking our time the boss was just kind of like ah like very boring but that's just that's more of a nitpick on the strike itself and not like the strike i guess whatever so yeah it was it was a mixed bag on one hand i do i did like that we were taking it slower because we could have died but at the same time i've done that strike way faster and I don't know it's such a weird thing honestly at this point i'm just trying to tell you heroic uh vanguard strike playlist should be a thing again like i miss that it would be great but after after we beat uh novata or whatever her name is i was like i'm done i think i'm done this is uh this is bad this is this is pretty bad uh strike itself was fine but everything else like i meet i met or before that i met like everyone in the tower and i thought that was cool but then the thing that really killed my vibe was the fact that all the planets aside from the the cosmodrome you had to unlock actually the cosmodrome and the edz if i remember correctly you had to unlock all these those other planets and if you're a free to play player like if you're a new light I'm gonna tell you right now, those planets don't give you anything of substance. Like, there's not a unique armor set, there's not a unique weapon set, there's not a unique anything on each of the planets. Now you can tell me that Nessus has an, a unique armor set, uh, EZ has a unique armor set, all this other stuff, but A, the Nessus armor is already sunset, so there's no point in ever picking it up unless you want it for transmog in the future. And the EDZ, you already have so there's really no point in saying that one like there's really no point in putting all of those planets behind an experience cap so you actually have to do a bunch of bounties do a bunch of other stuff that you probably don't want to do as a new light player just to unlock planets that really don't change anything uh the tangled shore doesn't have a unique armor set Dreaming City doesn't have a unique armor set or weapon sets, honestly. And if you get any of the roll, any of the drops from Forsaken, then they're immediately void because they're already sunset. There's literally no point in putting them those planets behind an experience wall because they're all sunset. So why would you do that? The only one that's not behind us, uh. The sunset is like Europa, and you already have a mission to do Europa, if I remember correctly. I didn't do it. Like I said, once I saw the planets were behind locked, I was just kind of like, I don't want to do that. Fuck that. I'm not doing that shit. Uh, I'm not doing this guide anymore. Because originally, like I said, I was going to do a guide, and I liked the idea at the time until I saw how bad the free-to-play portion was. Now, you can tell me, oh, well, at least they get to do some of Europa. Okay. Like, how much of Europa do they actually have? Is it pretty much everything? I know it's not everything, because uh, if I remember correctly, the hunts are behind the actual paid content. So do they have the that weird, like, thing that's falling from the sky from the from the from the from the raid because even then doesn't really matter because you don't have stasis, which is literally the only thing it changes. So what do you really have you don't even have the middle of your subclass because that was from forsaken so uh, what do you really have as a free-to-play player bro at least in back when you guys had like the old content you could run all of what is it the red war curse of osiris and warmind all of that plus you still have the planets granted it's not that crazy but at least each planet still had some relevance because all like all the armors and all of the weapons at least most of them were not like quote-unquote sunset you could still use them to some extent uh 
Mars had the activity, which dropped a good shotgun in my opinion. I still love the shotgun, but it dropped a bunch of stuff and it was good for farming world drops and whatnot. There was so much content before to now. Now there's no content at all for free to play players. And this is not me saying put more free content out there. I'm just saying stop hiding behind the free, free, free to play aspect of the game to justify the store's a ridiculous price range. Because if you guys don't know, the prices for armors were actually lower in Season of Opulence, if I remember correctly. It's actually $12 per armor. Now it's $15 per armor. So at this point, congratulations, Bungie. You not only are pushing out free to play prices on your game, but no one's bitching about it because you fooled people into thinking that you guys have a competent free to play market and you don't you really don't your free to play market or your free to play comp campaign is the worst thing i've seen and i've played a, f a couple of free to play games uh fucking hell dude the wow portion the free to play portion of wow granted there's not much of one all you do is level to 20 and that's it that is a better experience than what people in destiny 2 will get because at least once you hit that level 20, the game's going to be like, did you like the game? Well, you can level up another character if you want. It's, well, actually, I shouldn't even say level 20 because I think it's different now. Still, better experience. Because at least you actually get to see the world and a lot of it. It's just wild to me that people defend stuff that they don't even know. I Like, please, I'm, I'm not trying to shit on your experience. I'm not trying to shit on the fact that you may defend the store or not whatever dude i'm not even i'm not here about that i'm just saying check out the free to play portion of the game and tell me if it's acceptable because i'm not going to tell you oh i hate free to play players i really don't care to, uh, quite honestly i don't care i understand that some people think they're the lifeblood of the game because new players means more than whatever i understand that thought process but i also understand that because of the free to play aspect the game store is getting worse and i know people are going to be like you always attack the store and it's like yes because the store is always taking stuff granted people are going to be like oh but they they've changed they really haven't changed dude they just changed a few things that were pissing us off in shadow keep but they're they're still going to go right on selling you 15 dollar armor sets that don't do anything in the game people like to say that i'd like to people like to say oh it's just cosmetic only but i don't know man i think armor sets specifically armor sets is not just cosmetic only especially in a looter shooter where you want to look as cool as you want i think that's a difference like in warframe and fat end game is fat like a uh, fashion frame fashion frame is end game and people literally go out of their way to look cool in in warframe why because it's an important part and for people in destiny 2 that don't care about that it just it makes me just question you like why are you playing this game then oh because i like the gun the gun movement and whatnot i just don't understand it dude i really don't like so bungie congratulations dude man like i can't even be mad at you because it's so genius bro like make a bad free to play so that way we can charge more for the store start getting more rewards from the game put it in the store and people still defend it and it just blows my mind it really does because i'm just kind of like we could live in a world where we have dope rewards there could still be a store i'm not against having a store i'm just against the store having all the cool shit that's really it <laughs> like i don't care to do the store just give me some cool shit that i can get in the game as well like i don't know uh i might talk about i might talk about what i think they should do with the store in a later video but it's funny because my my when i talk about the eververse store i think that's when i gain the most views in my channel because people just like to like just people just like to like defend that shit forever i don't know why let me know in the comments below what you guys think personally like i said the free to play aspect is bad but that means that bungie can basically not only have a store but also charge ridiculous prices because they're a quote-unquote free to play game even though at best they are a free to enter and i hate 
that people keep telling other people that it's a free to play game because it's not. Warframe is free to play. Apex Legends is free to play. Destiny 2 is not free to play. Destiny 2 is free to enter because you still have to play, pay for expansions. You still have to pay for other stuff. So I'm not even saying this is your fault. I'm just saying if you say this, please change it. Just say free to enter because I'm not wrong, dude. So be safe, guys. You know what's happening in the world, and I will see you guys later.